and we're good. Pardon hey guys. me, guys. Pardon me. <laughs> As Jamie walks through the frame. Listen, it's not like I could walk around everything. We're in a hotel tonight. Oh, I just spilled my wine. Good thing it's a dark carpet. It's not even wine, though. I almost went, just hit Hold record. On. I gotta, I have to get the towel. Because I, like, legit soaked myself. You, what do you gotta get? A towel. A towel? Yeah. Oh. I'm going live on Instagram. That's fine. Checking connection. Uh, it's like <laughs> nowhere. I pulled the couch up. I'm about this to put this on my lap because I feel like that's going to happen all night. All right, Jesus. Once I sit down, is that my noise? Yes. What's up, guys? I should almost sit on your salad. Can you hold yeah. my beer ski? That would have sucked if I would have. Jamie almost sat on my salad. <laughs> I'm putting my salad behind you. And then we got these fucking pillow. Oh, right in the sauce. Oh. Give a napkin. She's a towel. Making a mess. It happens. One down. Yeah, the kids like to play with these. They like to pretend they're like little ninja guys. Uh, and they beat the crap out of them. All right. Whatever. <laughs> Who do we got? You made it tonight. What's up, Britt? Oh, come on, son I of a... I have to sign in, so... Oh. Alright. Oh, you don't have sugar. I know. Peggy doesn't have sugar to hold her phone up, which means... Um, which means... I'm not going to be looking at you guys tonight. I'm sorry. No, she's going to be looking. Don't listen to her. She's going to be listening. I can't read that. You eat too... I eat too late? No, I eat the purple. Well, tonight's late. Tonight's late. See, Jamie says he needs glasses, but he can read that. I'm wearing glasses, and I cannot read that. What's up, AJ? All right, so what do you want to do, Khaki? Move your fucking breadsticks, well, and then you could put something there. How about that? I mean, geez, you got too much what food. What am I putting? I have too much food? I have two tins of food. You've got a whole pizza and two tins. I have too much food? What's up, Grady? You Listen, if I, if I mispronounce some names tonight... Hey, you Grady, guys, you guys how are, are you? You guys are back just a little bit too far, just because... We have, we have to kind of make things work. Hey, Chooch. Chooch? He's in here? Oh. Hey, El Chucho. All right. We got pizza and wings and spaghetti with meat sauce. Wait a few guys. Couldn't finish without seeing Jamie. <laughs> and Khaki's still sick. <coughs> Khaki's still sick. I am so sick. The only thing I could do is we could pull this closer. I could pull, I could move the... the I still wouldn't be able to see it. It's just, it's very blurry. I can't read that fine print that far away. Do you need Parmesan cheese? Yes. Alright, um... It makes you stress. Every time I talk about math, it makes you stress. Every time I talk about math, it makes me stress. I don't want to talk about math. It's Saturday. <laughs> you feel like you feel dumb helping your kid do homework? Listen, Kaki does... I feel freaking retarded trying to help my Kaki. child do homework. Because you know what? He is just like me. It's like so like simple. Like He's like, Mommy, why can't we just add those two numbers together? And that's what it means. And I'm like, that's how I learned it. And I'm like, that's exactly what it means, Lucas. But they want you to learn it like eight different freaking ways. Eight different ways that you're never going to use in life. I don't tell them that, but... No, but you got to have They want the you right to way. use your brain. They want you to use your brain. That's what I tell them. Oh, good. But yeah, no. Eight plus eight equals 16, no matter which way you slice it. I'll tell you what. I'll move my spaghetti... You're not eating all that. All the pizza? No, I got chips too. I know. You're not eating all that. Here I am over in the corner with my two little Auntie Ray Ray. Pitiful happy Mother's Day. Trees. Hey, hey. Happy Mother's Day to anybody in here that's a mom. Well, thank you, Auntie Ray Ray. Gargle with vodka. Kill the germs. Get you gargle with vodka, you said. Listen, I've been drinking vodka all night. Maybe I should have gargled with it. I may have some left. I don't know. How fast does that take to do that? 
Kentucky's good. Hey, oh, there's my fork. All right, let's try this pa pasta and meat sauce. My eggplant's not even like hot anymore. Yeah, my eggplant's not even hot anymore. I don't, none of my food's hot either. But it's okay. I'm gonna put some spaghetti and meat sauce on top of the margarita pizza. Vodka with water. Really, Auntie Riri? Because I've been mixing vodka with water and then adding some like orange tangerine mio to it. And I still feel like crap. Kaggy sounds like she's dying. Like you'll hear her during the stream eventually. Oh, I do. I feel like crap. This is good. This is really good. I have a salad and I have a Coke, which I don't know where it is. I have a beer ski, too. Warm salt water does a trick if it's non viral. El Chucho. Chooch. This is definitely not viral. I have an infection. I know I do. I thought it was allergies. No, it's not allergies. I have an infection. Are you going to have any pizza? I'm coughing up like green crap. Ew. Kaki, we're eating. Um, whatever. I, I didn't know that. And I I'm coughing up green crap. So well, there you go. It's not. It's definitely an infection. Ain't she a Georgia peach? Huh? First of all, I'm from. I never claimed to be from Georgia. And the only peach on my body is my ass. You're going to hit the town tonight? Oh, AJ. Green snot equals sinus. AJ, what are you doing tonight? I missed I missed something. Who said that? It wasn't green right. snot. Uh-uh. It's not green snot. Green mucus? I don't know. I'm coughing it up. It's bad. It means I need to go to the doctor. And the doctor is not open on Sunday. So I'm going to have to wait till Monday. Which she's off. I'm not, but I am off on Thursday because we have family day at our son's school. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow's Mother's Day, which we don't have any plans. Like, tonight is our little getaway. And around 10 o'clock, 10.30, I was... Diane poops in front of you while you eat. I highly doubt that, Juge. You gonna get me a pizza hat? I'm looking. I'm gonna wind up having to get one online. Jimmy Keep Jim. coughing it up. I have been all night long. I actually looked at like my coughing as an ab workout, so to speak, because that's all I've been doing. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> just coughing. When ca there you go. <coughs> when Kaki's sick, she'll, she usually still goes to the gym. <coughs> What's up, Cody? She usually still goes to the gym, but you know she, she's really sick when she's like, I'm not going to the gym. I'm just like, I'm not going. I can't breathe. Like, if I was to exert myself... I probably would pass out. I would pass out on the freaking on the machine that I'm using. She's she says she does poop in front of her. Kaki doesn't even fart in front of me. Mm -mm. Which I appreciate that. Meanwhile, Jamie freaking rips it. I guess I'm his fucking business. <laughs> but God forbid I toot in front of him. It's not a rule, it's just I, I've never, I've never, I can't deal with that. I don't know. Yeah, you can't deal with that. We want to have to deal with your freaking loud ass. It's funny. No. It's funny when I let him rip. No. It is. <laughs> Where are you guys? We are at a Marriott. Marriott. Very nice Marriott. This is, we like to, we like it. It's close to home. It's a break away from like where we're living right now. Yeah. You'll eat a butt after that. That's disgusting. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> getting out. Have a good night, Andy Ray Ray. <coughs> oh, city, you have no idea. <coughs> this is margarita pizza. 
I put spaghetti and meat sauce on it. Bet you they don't have that in Chicago. Margarita? I don't know. Like something that looks like that. I don't know. Is that where City's from? Mm-hmm. City, you from Chicago? Do they have margarita pizza? My God, where have you been? Her and Jimmy Jim were talking about Chicago the other night. Khaki's a nickname because of a State Farm insurance. No, was it State Farm insurance commercial? Yes. Khaki, if, you, if you've seen that commercial, the guy goes, or the girl goes, what is he wearing? Khaki's. And then from that day on, I just kept on calling Kathy Khaki. She says, everything okay at home? Why are you guys looking to move? Everything's okay. Let me just clear the air on that one. Everything's okay. I mean, we just, we, we need to get out on our own. There's just too much shit going on where we need to raise our own. You know, we have to raise our kids on our own. And it's extremely hard to do it. Financially, on Long Island, it's extremely hard. Yeah. To provide, like, a comfortable life for your kids. Comfortable. Like, we can provide a life for our kids, but... You wouldn't have anything left over to do like fun shit. Yeah. Like we could provide a ha- like a, a house and food and like all like the necessities. Which but, I want to do and I'm going to do it. But like the extras, like the vacations and shit, like you can't afford that here. It's so expensive. No, and we have it's, it good to where we have it good where we are now. No complaints. It's just that our kids are getting out of control. They're getting worse. And they need to be just mommy. And it's no one's fault. It's no one's fault. It's just that there's too many voices. There's too many voices. And yes, Britta Bay, I do take it's vitamins. It's a long story. I take vitamins every day. I eat triple the amount of vitamin C I should eat in a day. I just have a really crappy immune system. And when I get sick, I get sick. Your kids are the same way. And you know what? That's a good deal. It's a good deal. We got to do research. We got to do research. We don't know where exactly we're going to wind up. No clue. We'll probably know by July, I would say. Or have a good idea by July. Take elderberry. Hold on. Law 1079 said take elderberry syrup and coil silver. Hmm. Have you heard of that? No. Never heard of that. I'm going to have to look it up. This is the first Saturday night. Oh, shit. This is the first Saturday night where, like... <laughs> Hi there, non-predatory R. Kelly giving Maggie the key to your hotel room. <laughs> what? Jimmy Jam said hi there. Kids non- attitude suck. Jimmy Jam said hi there, non-predatory R. Kelly. Come on, give it khaki the key to your hotel room. R. Kelly. Does your mom help the child care? Does my mom what? She just wants to know, does your mom help with child care? Have good child care? Does oh, your mom help with the child oh, yeah. care? My, oh, yeah. My mom is their second mom. My mom watches the kids when we're at work. Um, kids love her. She's good with them. It's just... You give out ass weapons. That's what our kids need. They get a good ass weapon. Yeah, our kids need that. Big time. Uh. No, it's, I mean, well, yeah, rough night, but not in that case. We're fine at home. Everything is okay at home. That's not why we're at a hotel. We're at a hotel just to get away from others. They have our own little, you know, four, you know, our own little family. have our own little, you know, Mother's Day. Own little family time. Family time. It didn't help. It didn't help that our kids were little pains in the freaking asses tonight. Mm. But they fell asleep early, and then I was bored by 1045. And I fell asleep for 10 minutes. They were asleep by 9.30. And Jamie wasn't even here. And I was like basking in the silence. Lulu. And I was like. Wow. Is Lulu in here? No. Jimmy Jam said Lulu. She's Yeah, Lulu. She posted a live video not too long ago. Oh, there she 
Oh, there she is. Hey, Lulu. Lulu, are you in here? You better say hello, girl. You can't just pop in and not say anything. Well, if you are, I'm happy everything is okay. How was everybody Saturday? Does anybody have any Big Mother's Day plans tomorrow? Anybody? I don't know. What do you have planned for me tomorrow? You? What do I have planned for you? Yeah. Nothing. You're looking at it. You're looking at it. We're eating dinner in the Marriott, enjoying pizza. Well, I plan on making mimosas tomorrow, so we have to hit the liquor store at some point. <laughs> what do you mean you plan on hitting the mimosas tomorrow? I want to make mimosas tomorrow night. Oh. Jamie's ears are I thought you clean. meant for like tomorrow during the day. No. I'm like drinking during the day. I don't like that shit. No. It's Mother's Day. If I want to drink during the day, I'm going to drink during the day. No, Steve, I get like, I'll be sick of pizza tomorrow. And then tomorrow night, I'll see some Instagram post. I'm like, man, I can go for some fucking pizza. I don't know why. I would have thought I would have been sick of pizza by now, but I'm not. I'm just, I'm loving it. I'm loving it more and more. Do you ever get sick of pizza? Just answer that, Kaggy. Yeah, I know. Steve, I get sick of pizza. Kaggy's been sick of pizza for the last I've two weeks. I've been sick of pizza for like, I don't know, like the past month. But I just eat it because I know Jamie is just, it's Pizza Friday. I get excited. So I like, and that's the first thing I ask her in the morning. I try to like get night? hype for like Pizza Friday and I'm like, yeah, it's pizza Friday, but like, I'm honestly, I'm over pizza. I'd rather have pasta. No, fuck that. Well, this eggplant right here, this eggplant's really good. Overwhelmed. Wow, so many comments. You guys must get overwhelmed. I wouldn't say overwhelmed, but we miss a lot. I miss a lot. Can That's I you with cereal pancakes. <laughs> I usually, I read the comments the next day. Because I know between me looking down to open Kathy looking at the screen, I do miss a lot. See, normally I have my phone like right here. But tonight I can't have my phone right here, so I'm like trying to like eat at the same time as I'm like trying to here, read Kathy, the comments. You can put it right here. Hold on. Make things real simple. Bazinga. Read your last two comments. Show me, Jim. Okay, I won't get that, that far. Is that Calm down. Is that better? Kaki, is that better? I need something to prop it up, though. I can't move. Because apparently, I'm Jimmy gonna, Jim, I have over. to read. No bow tie over the man package is going to cut it tomorrow. Are you a single woman? Learn. Are you including your child care expenses in your potential move? Chooch, we haven't even like gotten that far yet. Chooch, I'm reading your thing right now. The kids are little assholes. Except kids. it's the result of the parents. Yeah, no, I agree. They're spoiled. They me. are spoiled rotten. And that is a mistake that we made early on, obviously. And not... It's hard to explain. It's hard to explain. But yeah, it was it was extremely embarrassing tonight in the store with our daughter screaming. Oh yeah, no screaming. I'm like, just let her scream at that point. Just let her scream. Let her have her freaking tantrum. Let her have it out because who cares? She's just going to scream. I wound and up she's taking not going to get what she wants. I wound up taking her out to the car. She was screaming that she wanted to come out of the car like when we were checking into like the room. I shouldn't have did this. <laughs> I shouldn't have did this. Are you gonna drop that pasta? I see it. Something mess something saucy's getting dropped tonight. Something she saucy. started screaming, Chooch. That she wanted to get out of her seat. It wasn't fair. Blah blah blah. And I kept her locked in her seat because she can't unclip she can't unclip herself just yet. And she's screaming and screaming and screaming. I was like, you're not coming out until you're quiet. And she's screaming and screaming. You you are. Her. And she's like, that's not fair. I want a lollipop. And I'm like, you're not getting a lollipop. Yeah, I'm talking about the store. 
Oh no, I'm talking about the car as we're parked in front as you're unloading the bags before I parked the car. Yeah. Before we came in. And she's screaming and screaming. And I'm like, you are not even getting a lollipop when we get inside. Oh, yes, I am. And I'm like, oh, no, you are not. I'm like, you it's touch bad. a lollipop, I will slap your hand. It's bad. I don't know. So we get on the car, and she <laughs> and she takes my hand, and we're walking in. And, I, and she's looking at the lollipop, so I was like, you don't take a lollipop. And she's looking at me, I'm like, I will slap your hand. <laughs> and she looked at me, and she didn't touch the lollipop. She knew better. She would have been embarrassed because there was two men behind the counter, and I think she was a little scared. Yeah, shoot, you call him khaki an asshole. The, the whole direct parenting. I mean, I know it's our fault. I was raised by hard single mom. Yeah, I couldn't read it. I might have misread it. And something. single, hard single woman, and the single most important thing I learned is that children need to learn discipline early. If kids are little assholes, that's a direct result of their parents. Agreed. Oh, to Brit. Okay. Agreed. He wasn't calling me an asshole. I wasn't sure. I, did, I knew I didn't see it right, but... It's more than spoiled. It's, it's spoiled that's like... That's a bit strong, I'd say. No, Jimmy Jim. That's not a bit strong. Honestly, I feel... I actually feel like... I agree with... I agree with Chooch on that. Like... You need to discipline. You need to let your kid know boundaries. Like, you can't do this. If you do this, you're not going to get this, 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 or this. Hey, where's my, where's my Coke? Um, Did you, over you, here. Can you just pass it to me? Like, we don't, we don't know it's how to... It's respectful I don't know how, behaved. I don't know how to it's go about it. It's a direct result of our parenting. Absolutely. Our kids... I don't know what we're going to do. Learn. Our kids are going to learn the hard way. I mean, it's getting to the point where the, the next step is going to be... Um, yeah, there goes Stripping my everything phone. everywhere. Stripping everything down. And having them earn everything back. Starting tomorrow. With the first badass thing they, they're going to do. Because it's going to happen. <clears throat> Please message me. I'm like, what you think? Would work? No, because what you think would work for our children. Like, what you think? Like, what did you do for your children for it to work? Well, his because kids were. They learned discipline early on, which is. I remember. Yes, no, I know that. That a long time ago. <coughs> Kagi. I know, know that, and somebody didn't listen. I don't know where the cheese is. But I was a firm believer of don't give them crap when they misbehave. When they Morning misbehave, school? you shouldn't give them a thing. Wait, what? They're currently sleeping on the floor with no mattress? They're that bad? That's insane. That's insane. I don't want my kids to get to that level. Mm -mm. Who said that? Chooch. Oh, not Chooch. Uh, City. For a four-year-old? Cho yes. Chooch. 100% correct. Did you read Chooch's comment? No, I can't. It's going too quick. It's difficult when the grandparents are around because they tend to cuddle children and step over your parenting. Yeah. Mm. But it's like they're, they're the grandparents. So mm. I agree with my mom on that aspect. Like, how can she? She can't be their mom. No, she can't. But She's got to do her job as being a grand. This is what I'm getting at. It's in a, it, We're in a strange predicament, okay? It's, it's not as easy as, okay, we'll just move out. I don't want to move out. I don't want to leave my parents. I don't want to... Hey, Munchkin. I don't want to do all that. The kids love it there. We've got it good there. They do. But... They're constantly being Thank you, yelled Munchkin. at by everyone. That's the thing. Everybody's used to it. And they, they, they're constantly getting yelled at by everybody. So it's like they don't know who to listen to. 
and it's like they're constantly like stomping on the floor. They're children. They're kids. That's what kids do. But they also do it on at purpose. They do it on purpose. Isabella does it to make a point. I don't know. She's like me. She does shit to make a point. And I can't like get mad. I, I get mad at her, but like at the same time, I can't get mad at her because that's what I do. I do things to make a point. I mean, I don't stamp my feet, but I just wait for shit to fall into place, and then I say, "See, I told you so." Now, why do, why do they fear you though? You're the cool one, right? But why do they fear you, Jimmy Jam? I use my voice, and. These are your kids, and this is your house. I get that, Chooch. I use I use my voice, but like my son, for instance, you know, like I am with Khaki. Who's the strict one in our in our relationship? Me. You. I am extremely strict. Khaki's the strict one, but he's the freaking softy. Uh. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. You give in. Did you feel bad? I don't feel bad. Mm -mm. I don't feel bad. I don't know how to describe it. You just moved out of your mom's? It's like I listen to a lot of motivational speakers, right? And like, the, the smart thing to do is save your money, move back in with mom, suck everything up and I do I suck it up but it's at the same time what are you sacrificing when you suck it up yeah like I feel See, like now I that person probably doesn't have children no he does Ex he does or he doesn't he does I bet you he never lived with his mom when he had children I don't know, but what I'm trying to say, exactly. what I'm trying to say is, I feel like I missed out a good two years of being, you know, daddy because the kids always had somebody else to go to. That's what I feel. Nice does not work. I totally agree, Britta Bay, because my kids constantly tell me that I'm mean. Well, you know what? If I was nice. You wouldn't listen to me anyway. So I'm just they don't listen to you when you're mean at you. Exactly. That's the thing. So you know what? When they get old enough, I'm just going to show them Mommy Dearest. And they're going to say, wow, Mommy really wasn't mean. Does anybody have any recommendations on what to do with a baby that screams? Not even a baby. A four-year-old. A four-year-old just screams. That just screams and demands. How do you go about that? You ignore any it. You ignore it. You ignore it. You pretend like she's not even talking. I left her in her room for 45 minutes the other morning. Your oldest one's a therapist? <clears throat> my mom. You're doing it wrong with my parents, but when you're adults, you have to separate ways. Absolutely, Munchkin. Take her toy. Nah. That's not going to work. Very crazy predicament we're in. I ignore was, her. Ignore her? The way That's she, what I did. No. Here's the thing. She gave me such a hard time. Wednesday morning. Mm -hmm. and that was the morning I, I sent you the video of her just screaming and screaming and screaming. Yeah, yeah no, I got that. Oh, no. I just left her in the room. 45 minutes. I just let her have at it. I let her get everything out. And then finally she was quiet for like five she to ten sleep. minutes. No, she wasn't sleeping. She was just laying there. And I go in there. And I'm like, I'm like, you're ready to talk. And she goes, can I come out now? Because I was quiet. I said, you can come out because you are quiet. Do you know why you're in here? Yeah, because I was screaming. And I said, okay, you can come out now. I was like, but if you scream like that again, you're going to be in your bed again. Do it again at the worst time. Give her something to cry about. Give her give her something to cry about? Who's about? Chooch. 
Don't ignore her because she'll do it again. Give her some. See, don't shoot. That's something my mom would say. If you're going to cry, I'm going to give you something to cry about. My mom would say that to me all the time. She's my grandmother. Don't but let me tell you something. She cried and cried and cried, and then she got so tired, she just stopped. And once she stopped and she calmed herself down, that's when I went and talked to her. Mother's Day, Austin. We just got. We just wanted to get away, have a little, mo a nice little quiet Mother's Day with the four of us. That's when I stopped and talked to her, and she knew what she did wrong. She's like, "Yeah, I was yelling." I'm like, "Okay." I'm like, "You can come out if you don't yell anymore." Because the next time you yell at me like that, you're gonna be sitting in your bed again. Hi, Lacey. That's why my kids are so good. I really have to say anything twice. Nice. Yeah, for us, for me at least, it's like five, six times. It's hard. It is very, very, very hard. Are you enjoying your food? Yeah, my, uh, my eggplant's actually really good. Enjoy really, the Cheetos. Really good. Keep on forgetting about the wings. Of the quick little getaways. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. We definitely, uh, and plus we like this hotel. You know, it's, it's very nice. It's got a pool. The way the room is set up, it's nice. Mm -hmm. She stays longer in her room. Now, she Your won. four year old didn't care. He gave up his, his birthday. <laughs> Who's that? Rita Bay. What do you mean gave up his birthday? He's like, I don't want the birthday. He's like, I'm going to give up my birthday. I don't care. I'm just to sit here and scream. Our kids would never give up their birthday. Just to sit there and scream. Because they know what their birthday consists of. No. Ah! Well, you knew something was going to go for At least it was bread and not pasta. My breath stinks at the floor. Oh well. This is just one big feast anyway. I don't think we had any goals of finishing everything. Munchkin, we've tried the corner. We've tried the corner. We've tried the couch. We've tried the timeout chair. We've tried everything. The only thing we have not tried is taking away everything and then starting from scratch. Which I think is what we're going to do. Yeah, I think it's going to start tomorrow. I have no problem putting all their shit in storage. I will take an entire day of my day off. Positive. To pile all of their crap into storage and let them know that they legit it. have nothing but their <coughs> clothes to go to school. Positive reinforcement. I, I don't, I can't, I think it was Austin that said it. But I missed it. It, it was a long one too. If you want to scroll back. I have a different opinion. I found that positive reinforcements work really well in parenting. It's hard when they're already figured out how to misbehave, though. What do you mean by positive reinforcement? Like, what do you, what do, you do? Exactly, like, what do you do for positive reinforcement? Lacey, it's very good. Also, you're 6'3", 200 pounds, and put the fear of God in, the, in him. All right, well, that makes sense. No. Thank you, Britta Bay. Happy Mother's Day to you as well. Yeah, I'm liking this whole, this whole platter. Yeah, if they do it, I, I plan on doing it. You know what? I am so tired of my crap. I really am. And here's the thing. Isabel? She is just like me. She's just like me. So I get what she's trying to do. She's trying to prove her point. Like, that's right. I can get my way. Mm -mm. First of all, she's never really gotten her way with me because I usually hold my ground. It's this one. Rewarding like, good behavior. I, re re I reward them. It's this one that's like a sucker. Mom is... No. I'm not a sucker. Tonight was it? Listen. No. Not, I'm not talking about tonight. I'm talking about like in general. Daddy. 
her little voice, Daddy. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, no. Yeah, she's, don't she's, do uh, it. She knows how to put it on. She knows how to put it. Oh, on. she does. For Daddy, she knows how to pour that shit on like freaking icing on a goddamn cake. Mm-hmm. She knows. But I don't give in to that crap. I don't. And when she gets mad at me, she's like, I'll just ask Daddy. I'm like, you go right ahead, because Daddy's not giving it to you either. I'll make sure of that. <laughs> don't give in. Can't be a sucker. It's hard, but... Yeah. It is hard. It's very hard. Because my son does that to me. I as have, much as I have Isabella a, plays Jamie, Lucas plays me. I have a lot to say on the subject about why I give in. I don't want to share it, though. Not right now, at least. But I have my reasoning. And it's a mistake I made. It is a mistake that I made. And I don't want to say it's too late to get them. It's not too late. But it's it can be take, fixed. It's, it's just going to take, take a lot more energy than it would have. It's not too late. Uh, it just takes a united that's front. My, it I, takes a united front. A united front? What the fuck yes. is that? Everybody Meaning being you, on the same no. page? Meaning you and me being on the same page, it, it would be us against them. Which it, it always is. When do I ever take their side? What about you? Like, no. If you don't hear me say something to them, and then they come to you, and then they ask you something, well, Daddy said I could do it. Yeah, but I, I didn't know you told them. I no. know. That's why you should say, well, what did Mommy say? Because usually, if they come to me, they usually come to me first. So I don't have to say, what did Daddy say? You really say, what did Mommy say? Better to have fear than respect? I agree. <coughs> I feel like I'm going to be getting your call. Alright. I appreciate everybody's it can feedback. Be, exactly. I don't let them get away with anything. They get no. away with with me, nothing. I hold them accountable for every action that they take. And I don't care if they scream and they cry and they carry on. Go ahead, go in your room. Go take out all of your anger for your actions because it's the reason that you're upset. Well, here's the thing, they're good on their own. When, it, they're, when they're one mm -hmm. on one, they're good. When, they're, when it's just me and Isabella or me and Lucas or Jamie and Isabella and Jamie and Lucas, it's yeah, fine. No. It's and, uh, when they're together, no. it's like somebody just like lit a fucking match and a fire and then threw some gasoline on that shit. Yeah. It's bad. They like to piss each other off. And I know brothers do that to sisters and sisters do that to brothers, but it's getting to the point where it's like... It's getting to the point where nobody wants to deal with them anymore. It's getting to the point where... Like, we can't have a night out because nobody wants to watch them. That's why they're behind you guys right now, behind this big wall thing, sleeping. Not home with the babysitter. Mm -hmm. But to be on, to be fair, I like taking them everywhere. To be fair, I would like some alone time. There's actually a lot of jobs here for you guys. West Virginia. Two, trust me, we're looking into it. We're we're gonna be looking into looking into a lot of things. A lot of things. Moving, um, moving before the the, ne the next school year is, is definitely. I don't want to say it's a priority, but it's it's a priority. Steve HP Fitness, they are. Four and our son will be seven on the 25th of this month. Oh, this is hitting the spot. Yeah. I definitely didn't need all the pasta. Pasta was a last minute addition. Yeah, it was probably a waste of money and calories. 
I'm good. I'm definitely good. You can't even tell you home with the kids. Yeah, you'll find them duct taped to the ceiling. We can eat pizza. I miss Because I've already I, thought yeah. of doing that. Like, just duct tape, duct taping them separately oh, yeah. I, I, to the I, ceiling and say, and I want to stand down there and be like them, like, ha ha, you can't have this. Ha ha, I just want to torment them just a little bit and show them how it is on my end, like how annoying it can be. West Virginia. <laughs> West Virginia is like what, twelve hours away? Uh, yeah, probably. Oh, that's a long. Or was it Chicago? Chicago's twelve hours away. We're we're looking into a couple of things. It's most likely gonna be no somewhere down well, the West south. West Virginia comes up before Chicago. Coming from where we are. Oh. I know, like our little nook. I'm not very good on what. When it comes to, like, what state's next to state, like, I know we're next to Maine. No, we're not. Oh, Chief said, like, four hours away. That's not bad. We are not next to Maine. Mm -hmm. Like, the state itself. Yeah. We are not next to Maine. New York, and then Maine. Is, no. Yeah. Uh -huh. There's New Hampshire, there's Connecticut, there's Massachusetts. Well, Maine's somewhere in there next no, to us. No, Maine's all the way up there. Up by Canada. <laughs> Where? Turns <laughs> at the age. Oh, good Big Lord. grow out of it. Jimmy's yeah. not helping with homework no more. Steve. <laughs> Steve, what was the age they grew out of it? We're turds at that age. <laughs> yeah, our kids are turds now. Like, big time turds. And you know what's funny? I actually call my son. I'm like, you're a little turd all the time. Like that's his little nickname, like you little turd. Where are you originally from? It's the most eastern state in the U.S., way up there. Yeah. It's way up there. So by us. No. I always thought Maine was right next to us. Oh. I apologize. Can you tell I was not very good at... Geography? Yeah. Yeah. I knew that when you thought Argentina was in Spain. I also fuck around a lot, though, so it's like, can you tell what's serious? <laughs> oh, that's just old cheese. Is it a strength of mine either? I got news for you. I don't have a lot of strengths. I'm going to be real with you right there. All right, Kagi said geography. Uh, Steve said roughly seven or eight. Still plays up a bit. Yeah, I guess I, it's like I don't want to say I, I don't want to say I, I want to be patient about it because I don't want them growing up. You know, I make I I like the age. <laughs> Chooch. Chooch. Yeah. What do you say? I will say that the white people here are very different than the white people on Long Island. Oh well, all the toothless honeys will be all over Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even laugh at that. You got a lot of toothless uh, ladies down there? <coughs> Toothless honeys, huh? Oh, I would suck if I... <laughs> I didn't get recorded for some Toothless reason. Toothless honeys. <laughs> Work-related? Did you watch the fight? Oh, the fights are on tonight. What fights? Oh, yeah, I saw that when I was scrolling through the channel, but it was a prelims. It wasn't like that, actually. I don't even like. know who fought. I did just read that, uh, and this might be a rumor, but Anthony Pettis and Nate Diaz are fighting. Did anybody hear that rumor? Silva and... 
Thank you, Munchkin. I appreciate that. And being a mother absolutely is one of the hardest jobs in the world. And I also wish, wish you, Munchkin, a very, very, very happy Mother's Day. Listen, parenting in general. It's not just the moms. It's parenting in general. Mm, ma, well, Shit it's, is not it's, easy. No, first of all, it's Mother's Day. That's why she said that. And until the day a man gets pregnant and pushes out a child. Okay, I'm not talking about giving birth. I'm talking about well, being a mom. Like, it's, you have a Mother's Day just like there's a Father's Day. Yes. And you know, it's funny, we had a discussion today where I, about how Mother's Day is so much more than Father's Day. More meaning what? More, like, more celebrated than Father's Day. You think so? It's more like, oh, you have to get your mom this. You yeah, have to that's get true. your mom that. Do you know why? Because your mom grew you in her belly for nine months. And then went through labor to, to give you life. That's true. It is. We went through more. I'm not like saying like being a father's nothing. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm talking about just being a parent in general. I'm not taking away from being a mom. But that's what I was saying. Like Mother's Day is just... My mom. Your mother gave you life. Yeah. She literally carried you. And then, like, once she, you were out of there, she carried you some more. And then she carried you some more. Not to say your father didn't, because I'm sure he did. But you stopped, it's just different when you're a mom. You stopped years ago, so you don't, like, say Happy Mother's Day to her? Damn. Mm, he was a horrible witness, I thought. Who? Huge. Chooch is not a Jehovah's Witness. He was raised as a Jehovah's Witness. Yes, he was. Oh, I thought you said you thought he was. I was going to say. He was raised that way. No, I thought you meant like what he is like now. We don't do Valentine's Day, Father's Day, etc. I like the holidays. I like these little, even the little ones. Well, I don't really consider Mother's Day a holiday. It's got that feel. It's got that feel. Like, oh, it's Mother's Day. It's something special. It's a special day. It's just not a normal day. I'm getting full. Tonight is the first Saturday. I might have said this. I might have said this before, but I don't remember because we've been talking about parenting and, you know, little shitty kids. <sighs> Tonight is the first Saturday night that I do not have a extremely exciting snack to be you know, to look forward to eating in a couple hours. I have got regular cookies and I've got a chocolate bar. Khaki picked up a red velvet. <coughs> I'm getting your fucking cough. Khaki picked up red velvet chips hoy. Uh, I did. I did. I'm sorry. You know what? I figured I'm like balls to the wall. Let's, you know what? Let's go at it. Because I wanted those cookies for like a while now. And I just wanted the red velvet cookies. Mm -hmm. So I bought them tonight. Certainly. And Lucas is like, ooh, cookies. I was like, they're not for you. Those okay. are mommies. Bro. There's no real holidays that, not holidays, but like special occasions that I, that we pass up. Like we celebrate everything. It's everything is last minute. Everything's last minute, like tomorrow. I've got no idea what's planned. No idea, because we are celebrating it at home with my mom. And uh, we'll see what happens. Well, she has no idea about that. She's like, yeah, you just go you, you just go have your day. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. All right. And I'm just like, all right. I don't well, know what out. I'm doing for my day, but all right. Are actually less successful than my fatherless children, really? What? Are actually less full or are, are, are uh, less successful. I would Yeah, think look that. at me. I'm less successful, Chooch, because I'm a fatherless child. You got me. You don't need to be successful. I'm just saying. I am a fatherless child. Thank you, Chooch, for giving me that lovely message on Mother's Day. 
Thank you, Chooch. I thought it was great. Mm. Some special time tomorrow. I would just like some time where the kids aren't screaming at me that they need me to like give them a cup of milk or to cut their sandwich crust off. That's all. That I would just like. I don't know. Maybe like six to eight hours of just me by myself. That would be nice. To where I don't have to hear somebody screaming, "Mommy, <laughs> Lucas did this, Mommy." Isabella did that. I just don't want to hear mommy all day tomorrow. That would be nice. Well, what we could always do. You're a fabulous bastard child. As am I, Chooch. As am I. <laughs> Chooch, you didn't have your dad grown up. I still don't formally know my father. So I am a bastard as well. Oh look, we have that in common. Chooch, no. No. And I've never heard that before, that saying before, but no. Kaggy's sick. I think I'm getting sick, actually. And we are going to go to bed after this. Yeah. Yeah, we are, because I'm exhausted. And I'm sick. And I'm running on fumes at this point. I'm not a fatherless bastard, though. I mean, my dad walked out on, on us, you know, a couple times when we were little. Mm. And my... Specify your biological father. My biological dad walked out on us a couple times when we were little. But the man that my mom wound up marrying raised me from the age of like six or seven, or seven or eight, one of those numbers. One of those ages, he, he he's the one that raised me. So yeah, technically no, I'm not. I was I was fatherless for maybe I don't know however long my dad actually left for, and then eventually left for a long time. No, but you had a dad. Yeah, I know. I never said it. I didn't. See, I didn't have any of that. I know. I didn't have shit. I know. It was just me and my mom. That was it. Listen, I offer that to Kaggy all the time. I'll take the kids. Go do this. And so are you going to do Dirty Sanchez? <laughs> <laughs> First of all, it's Mother's Day. So, no. Come on. Wow, what a mess. This no, it's not messiest. Father's Day, so no. <coughs> I wouldn't get that on Father's Day either. <laughs> that's true. Dirty Sanchez on Mother's Day. Dirty Sanchez on Mother's Day. It's important Day. to give a Dirty Sanchez on Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. um, in what world? Not the world that I live in. Much good. I want a spa day on Mother's Day. Oh, I thought you were talking about Dirty Sanchez. No. What in the world do you think I would want a Dirty Sanchez for? I don't know. I thought you were going in that alley. That. No. Jamie has, like, high hopes. Uh-uh. No. It's not going to happen. I wouldn't want to do that. What was I going to say? I give Kaki that option all My the time. wine glass, Lacey, it says, wine is my valentine. It's my, it's my valentine's day. Wine glass. It was the biggest one I had, so I just grabbed that one. <clears throat> oh, man. That hit the spot. That hit the spot. Oh, those cupcakes last night? Holy moly, mm. don't chop. I got up at like 4.30 this morning for a drink. I went to the kitchen to get a drink, and I just look at the box of cupcakes, and I'm like, I wonder if he ate them all yet. <laughs> so I open up the box, and none of them are touched. And I'm like, I'm going to have that hostess looking one. And that was the best one to start Oh my god, that freaking hostess one. Holy. 
Holy shit. That was the best one. It was the gooeyest freaking cake I've ever tasted. It was absolutely amazing. All the other ones were like, okay. They weren't, there was like nothing like super special about it. You would eat them all. No, Cagney Send had me to the one. spa with, that, the, with the optional happy ending. Hey, I would take that at this point. I would take the optional happy ending. Hey, you never know. Kaki might get home tomorrow and there's a brand new car in the driveway. Bought no. by me. <laughs> it wouldn't doubt it. That's not the case. Brand new car in the driveway. Why? Because somebody stole it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for a ride in the new car. That's my way of getting rid of Kagi. Set her up in a stolen car, she gets pulled over. Bye bye. I'm done. Except, um, except I'm a good talker. <coughs> so I would definitely get out of it. Kagi, I'm done. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. Oh shit, what a fucking mess. Barely touched my salad. Yeah, yeah Munchkin, I thought you didn't eat all that food. Munchkin, we uh, oh, awesome. we are definitely sleep deprived. I got up at 6.30 this morning with our daughter, and she went... I got up at... Kaki was up way before. I was up right? at 5.20 this morning to get yeah, ready no, for work. I know. And after, like, eating all that pizza, like, I don't know, what time do we sign up? Like, 1.15? Yeah. Yeah, and then I got up at five twenty to go to work. I relaxed. To work an eight-hour shift. I relaxed all day. Oh yeah, and then I get home from work, and Jamie's like, "I'm gonna go to the gym." And his cousin's like, "Bring the kids over. We'll do the freaking nail polish coffee mug bull crap that they did the last time." So I said, "Yeah, sure." And then as he's walking out the door, he looked at me and goes. Don't just sit there this whole time. Do something use, useful with yourself. Oh, I wanted to hit him. So but I was playing around. I know, but I just wanted to hit you <laughs> so fucking bad. I know you did. Oh, you had no idea. And I purposely sat there for another, like, 25 minutes before I actually started, like, pagging for the hotel. <laughs> no, she did not go swimming. She thought it was too cold. It was, it was cold. Just me and the kids. It was cold for me. I don't know. I think it's because I'm sick. I got a shit ton of of stuff to post and do uh deal with yeah, their kids. Yeah, that water was it's it was wow. heated, but it wasn't heated. There was no way that was heated. It was not warm at all. When we first used, when we used to The first time we came here was like it was, a freaking hot tub. Yeah, it was like a big hot tub. It was great. It was great. Kaggy, is there a napkin handy or if mm -hmm. I have another towel? Towel on my hands. Napkin. Are like, I'm going to stop this. Here, napkin. I'd rather have a towel. Well, I'm not getting up for a towel right now. Okay, the towel's right next to you. It's right next to you! Alright, same thing. I had uh, a towel that was under his ass, because apparently he couldn't grab it. It wasn't under my ass, it was just right next to me. Alright, guys, we are we are heading to bed. We are heading to bed. We gotta clean up just a little bit. And then, uh... I'm just, I'm out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be out I'm like tired. a light. Like within tired. five minutes, not even within within five minutes, easily. I fell asleep on the couch before. Couch. I fell asleep when you were gone. Did you? What were the kids doing? Lucas was asleep. I didn't know he was asleep. And Isabel was sitting in the chair right in front of the TV. And you fell asleep? Yeah. She didn't move. I would have heard her. It's like that half asleep, like just like relax, like. Quiet, like just deep breathing sleep. Like yeah. sleep. That's how it was before. Right, Thank I'm you, a, Jimmy Jam. I'm Happy here. Mother's Day to you too, because <coughs> I'm sure you're a real mother. <sighs> how to say it, Jimmy Jam? All right, guys. Thank you again. We'll see you tomorrow night for a Mother's Day stream. Kaki might be cheating. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I have no idea either. But happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. Yes, happy Mother's oh. Day. And have a good night, guys. And we will try. see you tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to fall. That's why I just fall and just hit the spaghetti. And... <laughs>
let's go save and share all right YouTube YouTube I forget about you I'm just trying to walk without knocking over something we're stepping in the saddle we will see you guys tomorrow uh, have a great day happy Mother's Day happy Mother's Day <laughs> first and foremost uh.